Okay, Coach. So uh, over the last few months, the players have done a lot of learning. How much have you learned as a first-year head coach? Uh, a lot, <laughs> to say the least. You told the guys yesterday after practice, you know, we walked in here April 8th, and you guys didn't know us, and shoot, we didn't know you, but like just the feeling that we have right now should give us a lot of confidence of how far we've gone the last few months. So uh, it's, been, it's been a great ride, though. I mean, it's been fun to learn the guys and see what makes them tick, and to their credit, they've responded to everything we've asked them, and uh, that's why we're sitting here today and not practicing. <laughs> Well, I mean, you talk about the guys and learning the guys. You've got to learn your own coaching staff. You've had them come from all points, basically. None of them have worked in this kind of capacity all together at once. Um, you know, is there anything you're doing off the field as far as team building with coaches and learning? There's been, there's been quite a few dinners and, and hangout time, but, um, you know, it's tough because a, a lot of the families are either they're here or they're on the way here. So some coaches were kind of going back and forth to see their families on weekends. So we've adjusted our schedule you know, try to accommodate coaches to be able to see with it, get with their families as much as possible. So there are some opportunities to do it. We're looking forward to we'll do some more when they get back from break. But really just really happy with our group, just really proud of the guys. I told a lot of the coaches yesterday just thanking them that, hey, to take a chance on this, you know, operation, not knowing me and and um, just kind of going in head first, you know, and moving their families out west. And uh, just really cool that they had you know, faith in our process and what we believed in. So I think we're on our way. That's a cool message, though, to let those guys know how much you appreciate yeah, and taking a chance. Yeah, it's not easy. It's definitely taking a chance, but I think it's paying off. Yeah. How about uh, Leslie Frazier? Here's a guy who's got over four decades of experience. But I want to ask you, like, with his experience, um, what does that mean? What does he mean to you as a first-year head coach? Well, it gives me a lot of confidence, you know. So we're, 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 we're constantly bouncing ideas back and forth on, on how we want to operate. And he's reminded me of things that maybe I might not have thought of already or looking around a corner and telling me this is what's about to come up. But um, it gives you confidence on the things that you're, that you're doing. You say, hey, are we on the right track here from your experience? And uh, he tells you the truth, man. You know, he's a man of integrity, so I give him a lot of credit on that. But we have a great relationship. That's what the players seem to say about you, too, is that you shoot straight. There is no gray area. <laughs> I don't think I'm, like, smart enough to, like, distract you and go one way or the other. I kind of just have to tell you what's on my mind and how we see it. But I think players appreciate that, you know, just tell them, tell them the way it is, tell them what you expect, um, be open to their, to their feedback and, and understand where they're coming from and try to kind of see it from all angles. But I think that's really important, you know, that you have that kind of type of communication with your players. And you'll know, save a lot of time too, if you kind of cut to the chase. Yeah, well, I think they appreciate that. And I know that uh, they've talked a lot about your smarts and, and the word nerd has come out too as well. I'll take nerd as a compliment. I mean, it's, it's, I guess that's kind of endearing, but in my mind, it's, um, as coaches, our job is to, is to help the players. And so the best way I can, I can't go do it for them. I never did it physically. So to try to find some edge that can put them in a position where they feel like they can go play in a way where they can be productive and have success, then, you know, that's, that's what gets us going as coaches. And that's kind of the spirit of, of how we want to build our coaching staff and how we want to coach our guys. So, Sounds like the message is getting through, which is good. Yeah, no, it's great. Like I've heard all those guys talk, read all their quotes, listened to them, and uh, the feedback's just tremendous. So uh, uh, that's good. So when you look at yourself as a head coach, Mike, some coaches will sleep in their office; they'll stay there all, at all hours. Others will keep a regimen schedule and make sure they have some kind of balance. Which kind of coach are you, or which coach do you kind of want to, want to be? Well, past like nine nine thirty, my brain does not work. If I'm making decisions at night, look out; it's not good for the Seahawks. <laughs> so I'm cooking right after a workout in the morning. My mind is firing all cylinders. That's that's when I'm at my best. So the message to the rest of the coaches too is like we have to understand our processes, be really efficient. However you work best is how I, I would like you to, to operate. So, um, you know, if you like working at night, coming in a little bit later, that's cool. You want to be with your family. Like, we'll, we'll work around our schedules to make sure guys are working their best. But we don't want to be burning the midnight oil. We need our sleep. We need to be fresh. We need to be our best when we're around our players. So um, that's going to be really important. But it's a little bit flexible. But uh, I think you should have a – your process should be efficient enough. Trust me, there's plenty of time in the day. There's plenty of great people around here where we can be on our stuff be detailed, do it the right way, but also, uh, you know, be efficient so we can go spend time with our families. All right, you bring up your families. Uh, you and Stephanie have been basically East Coast your whole lives. Uh, now you, you pick up and you move out here. Um, what has that transition been like for you as a family? Well, once you got here, it's been great. You know, when she wasn't here, that was tough for a while. It was a couple months, um, her finishing up, you know, her um, singing at, the, at our church and uh, our dog passing away. That was a tough, tough transition. But once she's been here, 
Uh, it's been awesome. I mean, it's been great. It feels like this is home. Uh, we haven't been able to get out in this community as much as we'd like, but I think that, you know this summer you know, will serve us some time where we can get out and, and see the city a little bit more. Will there be a time where, because I know knowing what you just talked about, your schedule since you got here, will there be a time this summer for you to kind of celebrate the fact that you are a first-year head coach in this great organization? I don't know if I'm celebrating it, but I mean, it's a blessing and it's such a such an awesome responsibility. And uh, the, the process, like the, the dream is in the journey, you know, so like we're just going through it and we're having a great time. We love meeting all every all the all the 12s out there, all the fans. And, uh, you know, it's I mean, we're not like the most social butterflies of all time, but you know, we'll be out on a hiking path near you. And if you see us and uh, don't afraid, don't be afraid to stop us. <laughs> OK, but, but come on, man. There's got to be more than a hiking path. There has to be a trip somewhere like yeah. you guys have a, a special are, vacation okay. plan. You don't have to tell me where, but you well, so in the past, because we're on the East Coast, we'd, we'd go to Europe the last couple of years. We've been to Greece. We've been to Italy. That's been cool. But we're not going to take like an extent. It'll be a I think we're going like four nights uh, down to a warm city south of here. <laughs> to play at coy okay no that's perfectly fine it's none of my business it's nobody's business what you do but it makes me feel good that you're going to take some time and take a trip and take some time to yeah yourself. it'll be fun it'll be you good know to get what away. the grind is when you get back we timed it up just so when people said like right after july 4th is the absolute perfect time to be here so we'll time it up so we're back in time for the fourth and we'll we're, we're looking forward to the summer in, in seattle we're looking forward to that great well we're looking forward to the season mike so uh, great talking to you and uh we'll see you in a few weeks great thanks a lot all right